This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University, and today I wanted to answer the question, what happens if big tech bans Bitcoin wallets? This is a question from Chris Male 9976 Love your video, sir. My only concern is if big tech giants like Google and Apple no longer support the wallets and take them all down. What happens then? We'd like a video on potential ways around it. It is true that the tech giants have a stranglehold on many things. There are ways of working around it with, for example, de-googled phones, but you do have the Apple App Store and they can choose to include a certain app or to exclude a certain app. Likewise with the Google Play Store. Fortunately, there are ways around this, but before I talk about them, what I want to reiterate is what I think is actually going to happen is that Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, all these big tech companies are actually going to add Bitcoin to their digital wallets and ecosystems. Big tech and banks will actually compete off for the best products that use Bitcoin. And that's because Bitcoin is ethical, neutral money that also has the greatest regulatory clarity of any crypto asset or cryptocurrency. They're, by contrast, they're not going to be interested in putting controversial unregistered securities like ETH into their products anytime soon. I talk more about this thesis that big tech will adopt Bitcoin rather than banning it in this video, which I'll link to in the description notes below. But today I want to talk about the scenario where Bitcoin wallets are banned from the various app stores. And there are going to be many, many solutions. One really interesting solution, the Mutiny Wallet. Mutiny is a self-custodial lightning wallet that runs in your browser. So you can run Mutiny in any web browser on your desktop, on your laptop, or on your smartphone, and it allows you to easily run a full lightning node with just a few clicks on any device with a browser. This is very, very important. Apple can't stop you. They can't block you from their app store. Google can't block you from their Play Store. Amazon can't stop you, etc. There's no more need to go through any app store to get a Bitcoin Lightning wallet, thanks to Mutiny. And there are going to be many, many products like this. In addition, Mutiny's code, its software code is open source, so it's completely viewable. You can also fork it, you can change it, and you can run your own version of it. I'm going to link in the description notes below to the GitHub repository for this. You can browse this if you're a little bit more technical. Mutiny is what's called a progressive web app, a PW. A, so it runs in your browser and the developer can push updates and automatically push updates. So one of the risks to this model is if the company goes rogue, I don't expect Mutiny to go rogue. They're good guys, but you never, you never know. If they were to go rogue, they can push a malicious update on you. Now, Mutiny is aware of this as well. And on their website, they say, our long-term plan with Mutiny has always been to make the wallet self-hostable. You should be able to deploy your own copy of Mutiny to your own website and remove a whole lot of trust from the equation of using Mutiny as your wallet. You control what code is deployed and where it's run. So they have now rolled out self-hosting as well and made Mutiny self-hostable. What's really cool about Mutiny as well, and I know I still need to do a video about the communications protocol called Noster, which enables many applica applications, including something like a decentralized Twitter, which is what's being used for now. But you can also use Mutiny Wallet. You can link it to a Noster client like Domus and use it to send zaps or sats. And in this way, you're not you're not reliant on a custodial wallet, for example, like Wallet of Satoshi. I'm going to make a video about this soon, but if you want to know what Domus is, it's a client that allows you to interact with Noster. And Noster is very similar to the Bitcoin network. It's decentralized. You have all these relays and it's impossible to censor speech on it, which is really cool. If you want to check out my NPUB, they're not really accounts, but they're public private keys. And so I can sign any any post that I make so you know that it comes from me. One way of, of uh, accessing accessing Noster is you can go to primal.net. You can search for me, but I'm going to give you the link right here so you know that it's me. I plan on scaling this up over time, but if you just want to check out what one client version of Noster looks like, the Domus client on your phone, which is only for iOS, will look different. But you can see here one of the things that I am hosting on Noster is where to find Bitcoin University online if I were to be banned from the current platform. So I have a list of the Odyssey, Rumble, BitChute, Telegram, everything 
on here. So I'll link to this uh, NPub, my NPub on primal.net. There are other solutions as well as progressive web apps like Mutiny. If you've taken my course, you know that I like the Sparrow Wallet a lot. This is a fantastic project and they have downloads available, not just for Mac OS and Windows, uh, but also for Linux. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out my ultimate guide to Bitcoin, which is a paid course on my website. It allows you to join the Bitcoin forum as well. And I'm planning on adding some new exciting features soon. Hopefully this video has led you to see how unstoppable Bitcoin is. It really is a little bit like a virus. It's going to find its way around any blockades that people put up to try to stop it. And I think progressive web apps like Mutiny are really good start to this. Bitcoin is truly unstoppable. And this is why, as Satoshi said, you might want to get some Bitcoin just in case it catches on. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.